This is the Environment and Climate Caucus newsletter for July 19th, 2023. Our July membership meeting is tomorrow, July 20th at 7 p.m. Notice of Between Meeting eBoard Action In early 2022, the Washington State Democratic Central Committee adopted Resolution 988, which had been submitted by ECC, calling for the removal of lead from aviation fuel. You can find Resolution 988 at link zero. Recently, on July 16th, ECC signed a letter regarding leaded aviation fuel. Briefly, the version of the FAA Reauthorization Act being considered by the U.S. Congress has a provision that requires airports to provide leaded aviation fuel to piston-driven aircraft, even though FAA-approved, cost-competitive, lead-free fuel is available. If enacted, the requirement would lock airports into using leaded fuel until the FAA gets around to requiring a change. The bill is expected to pass out of the House tomorrow. In the Senate, it will go to the Commerce Committee, which is chaired by Maria Cantwell. The hope is that the provision will be removed there, and that was the topic of the letter. You can read the letter at link 1, and feel free to take your own action by contacting Senator Cantwell. You will find her webpage at link 2. ECC Executive Board News Congratulations to ECC eBoard member Elaine Harvey on her new job as Watershed Manager for the Columbia River Intertribal Fish Commission. Link 3 will take you to an interview with Elaine on Critfix webpage. Elaine was also featured in a 2021 video called Land of the Yakimas. Follow Link 4 to watch the video. ECC member Jim Conca has been nominated to serve as ECC's Eastern Washington Vice Chair. We will be seeking other nominations and voting on this position at our meeting on July 20th. Coincidentally, last week Jim gave a talk at Bickerson's Brewery in Ballard on the state of Washington State's energy future. Watch at link 5. General Meeting, July 20th, 7 p.m. This summer, we're having two general meetings, one on the third Thursday of July, July 20th, and one on the fourth Thursday of August, August 24th. Meetings will be on Zoom and will begin at 7 p.m. For a link to the July 20th agenda, see link 6. And for the Zoom link for tomorrow's meeting, see link 7. This is a link directly to the waiting room, not a registration link. See you at 7 on July 20th. At our meeting tomorrow, we're excited to have Shasti Conrad, chair of our parent organization, the Washington State Democratic Central Committee, join us. It took weeks to get this scheduled. You would not believe how packed her schedule is. You should donate to support the Washington State Democrats at Act Blue by using link 8. Our previous newsletter foretold the appointment of two committees at the July 20th meeting. One committee will be tasked with describing dam-free transportation op options for the kinds of materials shipped by barge on the Lower Snake River, primarily agricultural products. The second committee will complete a study called for in the 2022 WSDCC platform about costs and risks of nuclear power. Recruiting has begun for both of these committees. Please let us know if you would like to join one or both. You should join ECC. This newsletter goes out to ECC members and non-members alike. If you are a member, the email address we have on file for you is shown in this section of this newsletter email. If no email address is shown, you're not a current member, even though you may have been a member in the past. Washington residents can join ECC with a dues waiver at link 9, or by paying dues at link 10. Dues are on a sliding scale with $20 recommended, but we don't really need the money. New members need to join 30 days before being eligible to vote at a meeting. WSDCC Advocacy Committee Survey Reminder From the Advocacy Committee, every year the Advocacy Committee puts out a survey to get information from activists and party members on what is important to them ahead of the next legislative session in order to help craft the
the annual legislative priorities. This survey is invaluable for our organization, that is the Advocacy Committee's organization, to find out what is important for our supporters and work to make those priorities into law. We ask that you fill out the survey at link 11. Call for resolutions for the August meeting. Our August 24 meeting will be the last opportunity for us to consider resolutions that may be sent on to WSDCC's quarterly meeting at the end of September. It will be an ideal opportunity for members to submit resolutions regarding, for example, issues that will come up in the next legislative session. Link 12 will take you to our rules for resolutions. If you have an idea for a resolution and would like help taking the next step, just let us know by replying to this email. And finally, our mission. Through research, education, outreach, and collaboration, the Environment and Climate Caucus advocates for legislation and policy that protects the environment and supports effective responses to mitigate and adapt to climate change. We work with a diverse community of stakeholders including other WSDCC caucuses. And that is the ECC newsletter for July 19th. We'll see you at the meeting tomorrow.